Oh, shit. All right. Why is everyone's cameras just turned off all of a sudden? <laughs> no one wants to be recorded. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I'll get to your question in a second, Rasheng. So, um, hopefully I'm gonna continue. I, I haven't done any work like I said I was going to. Um, so I was busy doing now. I just traced these two um, and I've penciled these ones and I'll pencil the last one um, during the class. But um, what I was hoping to do is show you some different ways of coloring like I did with this one, that it was just in a lot of hatching, but in grayscale with one color but then these two I might do in full color. Um, and these ones might just have one color in the background. So I wanna show you some different ways you can color. You wouldn't necessarily do them all on one comic, but you might do a whole comic in this style, whole comic in this style, whole comic in this style. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do during this lesson while you guys are hopefully still working on your comics. Um, or if you've finished them, that'd be great. We can also do other stuff as well, other drawings if you everyone else has finished. Um, so let me just open up the chat as well. So the chat is there if you want to just talk to me there. Um, but let's see, um, Rusheng, what is your question? Hello. You got hand up. Hello. But you're not saying anything. Hello. Are you there? Okay, I can hear you now. Well, anyway, I didn't get to finish because my thing, I didn't get a lot of time this week. Yeah, so you haven't finished the comic? That's fine. You can work on it now. Um, it's probably not going to be done. And so all I'm doing is just making the first page a lot more darker. So it's a lot yeah, cleaner. Yeah, fine. I don't expect you to do multiple pages because you had a lot there. Um, I just want you to sort of get, not you in particular, but everyone, I want you all to sort of get more confident in doing these sorts of things. And even if we're just sitting here all drawing our own comics, um, at least you're spending time doing this. And if you need help, there's myself here to ask, but there's also everyone else in this class. There's what, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve other people, twelve other artists sitting here that you can talk to, um, and even talk to out of class too. If you become friends with each other, or you can contact me out of class. Um, yeah, I want you guys to be more comfortable with talking about your art and showing your art and asking for advice, whether it's from other artists, from friends, from teachers, from family, parents, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so as long as you're working on something, I'm happy. Um, and um, I'd love to see what you're working on. If you've got stuff to show or if you've got questions about it, you're stuck, just ask. Um, but if you, if there's anyone who doesn't want to do the comic today or they missed the other days, um, just put your hand up or, or let me know in the chat and um, we can, I can actually do just a regular drawing today if you want, while the other guys are working on their comics. So that's totally up to you. Um, Bella, do you have a, are you working on a comic, Bella? Do you have a comic there? I can't remember your one. Hang on, I can ask you. You do have a comic? Okay, cool. I can ask you on mute there. Um, what was yours about? Um, it's about a boy. He's walking along the streets and then he finds a shooting sign he wishes to fly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I remember seeing that one. That sounds cool. And does his wish come true? Yes. Okay, <laughs> that's good. All right. Well, has anyone got anything that they have been working on that they want to show me? Before we, yeah, Amish and Kai. All right. Amisha, do you want to you show? Do you want to unmute and show? Hang on, there we go. Um, I finished um, inking this page. Oh, wow. Great. Oh, that's right. I remember seeing the first panel. Cool. Yep. And so what are you working on now? Are you working on another page or do you want to start coloring that? I wanted to start coloring that. Okay. So have you got any idea of how 
you want to color it? No. Nope. Well, um, maybe I can help you with that today with these ones that I'm going to do. Um, it sort of depends on the look you want and if you want it to be bright and colorful, because um, you do have a lot of black in there. Um, so some color might be good. Um, otherwise, if you wanted to keep it rather dark, sort of like my top panel here, you could just do different shades of gray. Um, but let me just go grab some colors out of my drawer and I'll start coloring these two up and I can show you what your comic could look like fully colored. Um, Okay, we've got a bunch of different markers. I've got so many, it's crazy. I mean, you could even use Poskas too. I don't really suit this kind of thing. You got Poskas? You going Poskas, Kai? <laughs> um, while I'm just grabbing text as Kai markers, do you want to start talking about your comic? And what you've done so far? Yeah, my other comic, I just reckoned it was just too long and I didn't set out the panels, even I couldn't even read it anymore, so I just decided to abandon it. Okay, <laughs> that happens sometimes. It was not working out, so I decided to make a four-panel, very simple comic to okay. just practice on um, shading, hatching, and colours. It's Great. not an actual comic, just to practice the things, and I'm adding some stippling onto the wall. Nice. Okay. Then going along, paint something. Yeah, that's cool. And like these um these weird things I drew are bacteriophages and two other characters. And then he <laughs> comes to life and helps him after he's just well. That's cool. I like the 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 artwork on the wall. It sort of that comes to life. That looks really cool and interesting. Yeah. Almost. Um, Reg Mombasa. Do you know the artist, Reg Mombasa? No, no, no I don't know him. <laughs> okay. He does a bit of like, he used to do old Mambo um, designs, like, you know, for Mambo clothing. He might oh, be worth that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, also, um, was it Ruchet? A bacteriophage is um, something which scientists are manufacturing to um, kill bacteria because um, but, um, antibiotics aren't working anymore. And also, uh, Oh, wait, you know what that is? What? Oh, okay. Very few people know what they are. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, I thought it was just a... Is it the one that's on the end that has, like, little spider legs? Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah. yeah. A decahedron on his legs. Yeah. I thought that was an actual virus. Oh, it's um, a bacteriophage. No, they kill bacteria. Oh, okay. Well, and there you go. The problem with antibiotics is that they kill everything where yeah. uh, a phage is more like a guarded missile. Oh, I see. That's cool. Mm. Well, I just colored this guy in red and he's very hard oh, to yeah. see down now. Very red. I'm make him red and this guy blue, but I maybe, think maybe, he's, maybe he's a meat man. <laughs> he's, a, he's just made of meat. Like all men are, all men are meat men. Skinless uh, meat man, oh geez. <laughs> I used to have all my colors, all my markers organized, but um, into um, cases, but I gave those cases to my son and now I've just got a drawer full of loose markers. <laughs> so oh, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> this is well, he, what I have to sort through with my markers. That's good. At least you can see them all at once. I've just got a drawer full. Yeah, at least you can. And you also have Posca markers, which are like, this thick compared to the thinnest one I have. They're still thick. <laughs> that, this is absolutely massive. Like, I don't see how I could paint with this. It's just massive. I reckon 10 strokes of that, it will fill up my whole page. <laughs> well, the thing about markers, uh, about Poscas, is that you probably shouldn't be do using them on paper anyway. Mm. They're better on... Yeah, truly, um, aren't they? They're, they're basically made for graffiti. So I've actually got a skateboard that I'm painting on. I'm going to be using Poscas, Poscas for it. Oh, okay. So I'm doing this really roughly just because I want to show. You just want to show uh, all the hatching details. 
Well, this one's not going to have any hashing. This one's going to have um, just color. Yeah, you want to show all the coloring techniques. Well, this one, I'm probably just going to do just flat color, but the markers are going to take up forever. So I'm going to leave their hands, or maybe I'll make their hands a color as well. Got a light yellow here. Um, what about Riley? What have you been doing, Riley? I'll just mute my video. Yeah. Riley, I'll ask you to unmute. There you go. Um, I um, just joined, so I don't know where my comic is, but I drew this while I was waiting um, to get in. Oh, cool. That's a nice bomb saw. Um, so uh, what we're doing today is just continuing with the comic. Um, do you remember how far you got with yours? Yeah, I finished mine. I'm not using colour. I'm just using plain black and white. Thing. Okay, are you doing like um, hatching techniques, like the ones up here, hatching up here and up here, this kind of stuff? Yeah. And you've done all that? What? Have you done all that? No, not yet. Okay, so you can you can work on the hatching today. Because um, I'm just going to show you a few different ways of colouring that you could colour. Um, and I'm going out of the lines all over the place. <clears throat> so, um, anyone else got something to show? Um, Bella, do you have anything to show? Or are you still drawing? Okay, that's fine. You don't have to show anything right now. Um, what about everyone that has their camera closed? Um, oh, James, you have watercolor pencils. Are you using those watercolor pencils? I'd like to see that if you are. That's cool. Where are you, James? I can't see. Oh, there you are, James. Got the picture there. I'm missing you've got too many markers. I know the feeling. I also have too many markers. But um, what about, oh, James, you haven't, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Shane's working on thing. What about Jurat or Depatra? What are you guys working on? Still drawing? Okay, Patra, uh, Giraffe, or Jensen? What are you guys? Or Jonathan? Do anything? Oh, Jensen, there you go. Have you guys got anything to show? Jensen, do you have anything to show? Uh, yeah. Okay. I uh, started um, coloring um in this nice yeah yeah cool um so you're coloring little figures are you going to do the backgrounds as well what are you planning on doing uh, yeah. there yeah yeah okay so save doing the backgrounds until you see what i've done here okay um because i'm going to show you a couple of different ways you're probably going to go more this way where it's just a color in the background i think where these ones that i'm doing very messily and very poorly very patchy. Um, I just got to be full color. I'm trying to rush so we don't I'm not spend the whole lesson doing coloring in these two panels. Um, why don't I use the brush end? That would be smart. They go a bit quicker. But put still. See how the brush is actually putting down a lot more ink, so it's getting a lot darker quicker. And thing with the markers is too, if you sit it too long and let it dry, you can't always go back and do fill in those little bits you missed because you'll get an edge. See how there's streaky lines through there? You want to try and get one big flat color in the first pass. That's my marker squeaking. Okay, so it's the sky for him, the sky for this guy. Oops, I went right over the lines then. Um, okay, Marissa, you, you're using Copics? Or are you telling me to use Copics? Or are you telling someone else to use Copics? 
We were showing you got groove and dents with what? Your from your pencil? Um, because that yeah, okay. So yeah, you pressed your hub with the pencil and you got grooves and dents, but that should be okay if you go over with um your felt tip pen. Felt tip pen will be in the grooves and it shouldn't stand out too much once you colour it or do hatching on it. There's so much blue in my banana, it's turning yellow. I mean, it's turning green. Sounds like I'm torturing this poor Martha, squealing. Okay, I, can't, I haven't really drawn the background in for this bit. There probably should be some ground here. I'm just making it all sky. <laughs> Not in the next five months, okay. <laughs> um, all right, let me find a, what's this color? That might work. It's a bit, bit too yellowy, but it's gonna have to do for my buildings. And I'm, what I'm doing too on this is that I just went really fast and that leaves white marks and doesn't let the markers cover very well. So you have to sort of take your time and do sort of smooth strokes like that. So the ink has time to come out. Otherwise, if it gets fast, it gets really light. You don't want that. You don't want to also hold it on so long that the, it's soaking through the other side. You don't want um, to make the paper really, really wet. And also another thing I just realized I did, you don't want to put your hand in it as well, because you can smudge it. The problem I have being left-handed that I often get paint all over my hands or markers or even um, graphite from pencils and things like that. Okay, so I'm just doing solid colors for these, as you can see, solid colors. Um, the ground, I probably should do a gray color, but I haven't pulled out dark grays. I need to find something else for that. So what I'm doing is on the side here, I'm doing a little test to see how dark these colors are or what the colors actually look like before I go ahead and put it on the page. Because you don't want to accidentally pick up the wrong color and start coloring in and then you go, oh no, it's the wrong shade of green or whatever. Just the footpath. Actually, I might do the footpath on the road all the same color. And the wheels on this car. And I'll paint the car a similar color to the, um, the buildings, just so it blends in. I don't want to stick out too much. So it's still going to be a bright orange. So it is going to stick out a bit. There we go. So this first one here is just black and white, basically with gray tone and um, hatching. <clears throat> this one is gray tone with a color spot. That could have just been a light spot and everything else could have been dark. These two panels are just solid color. They call it solid color because there's no shading or anything like that. If I wanted to add shading, 
um, I could do that by going over with a darker marker or with the same marker again and doing a second layer. It often gets darker that way. So I can add darker sections in. So it adds a little bit of shadow, um, even uh, like in the grout of these bricks, I could just add a little bit of color in there. Well, what, something I could also do is just add patching with the same marker to add a bit of shading. So you don't have to just do hatching in the inking stage, you can actually do it in the coloring stage. I don't know how clear that is coming up. So it looks like just a blur, but it's actually cross hatching. I've done in there. It's not really coming up too well. Can sort of see it there. Um, so for this guy, I could have even added, like, made him darker underneath. So it's just the same color going over again. Darker under here, as if the light's coming from above. I can't make it lighter. But I could make it darker like that. And then I could even get the ground color and go over this again and give him a bit of a drop shadow. Like that. So it sort of becomes a little bit, a little bit more detailed in there. So that's one way you can do it. Just with solid colors playing, or you can then add shading to your solid colors. Uh, what does the color I use for that guy? Brilliant. This one. So I can add a bit of shade from that brick wall onto this guy, shade from his head onto his body. I could even make his eyebrows are so big, I could make it a bit darker underneath his eyebrows. Just, yeah, little things like that. So that's that's another option for you guys. That takes a lot of time because you're going to be doing, oh, you know what? It's going to take time to color, but it's going to take time to do hatching. So either one of these is probably take the same amount of time because I'm not coloring everything in this one, but this one I'm coloring everything. So it's probably going to take the same amount of time. Um, so in this next one, <clears throat> I've decided to do some interesting things with sound effects. So he's throwing the banana in this one. And I've written the word toss, T-O-S-S, because he's tossing the banana peel. But I've done it in the background. So there's a giant T, O's there, S and S in there. And what I was thinking of doing is just um, sort of scribbling them in a little bit. So it's, they're not really that prominent. I have not just tracing around them. So this is the T. And I might do the top of the T this way. So it's almost like doing hatching. So there's the T. And the O is behind the banana peel. So yeah, it's a little bit like hatching, but I'm doing lettering with the texture that the hatching would have. So O, this is the first S. And then the second S, make it a little bit smaller so it fits on the screen a bit better. On the screen, in the panel, I should say. So this is toss in the background. Um, so then I will rub out those pencil lines. And before I color that one, I'll move on to the next one. So. This one is just the legs walking and the legs are black. So I'll just trace them. And there's no sound effect on this one. It's just showing the legs. So the 
things working. But I could add a little bit of hatching shadow under there, and this one's sort of lifting up. I could draw movement lines to show that sort of you know, the background's whizzing past. Even though we're just standing still, or we're not standing still, we're following the, so that's the, the person walking, this is the breeder. So we're going like that, we're following at the same time. So we're moving at the same point like that. So even though that's looking in one spot, the background's moving. So it looks like we're not moving, but the background actually is. And then this last one, the banana gets thrown down and um, hits the ground. And it splats, like a big splat sticking up. So I'm just drawing the banana peel, sort of all sort of hitting the ground, a bit sticking up, some little wet bits flopping around. Apparently you're finished, okay. Well, give me a second. Um, and then I'll draw in the splat as well. So there's a the banana hitting. Um, could do some little impact flashes to show that oh, that's hit the ground. And the splat, I might actually draw the splat outside of the square, the panel, like this. So it's gone out the top. And I'll draw the P out of the top. The L sticking up. Top of the A. The T can be sticking out of that too. So when I go to do the outline of this one, I'm not going to cut across the letters. I'm going to let them stick out in between. And I'll come back and I'll clean these up a bit. Like that. I'll fix this up so it doesn't look quite as messy. I'm still going pretty fast. It's still messy. Um, there. So then it's making the sound effect um, a bit more of an impact by breaking out of the panel. So you don't always have to feel like you have to stay within the panels and you don't have to um, even have a panel. I could have just had this person walking on their panel or, or that one with no panel. Um, so it's totally up to uh, you guys what you do. Um, okay, Bella, do you want to show me what you've done? Is that a no? You don't want to show me what you've done? <laughs> Please don't need to. Cool. Lots of color. <coughs> Excuse me. Lots of color in that first one. Nice. So, what about all those other buildings? You're going to add color to those or to the person to make it stand out a bit more? Or even um, in the ones next down with the stars, if you painted that sky. Um, say purple, like a, a dark purple, actually any kind of purple would make that stand out a lot. Because um, I'll show you this one here with the, um, is this what I'm using for the banana? I think so. If I just quickly color in this banana, because the banana is yellow. I don't know if you've done any color theory in class, in your art classes, but uh, complementary colors are colors that are opposite on the color wheel. And the color that's opposite yellow on the color wheel is purple. So um, purple things stand out with a yellow background and vice versa, yellow things stand out with a purple background. So if I've got this yellow banana, so I'm pretty yellow, it's a bit more orange. 
Um, I'm going to try and find a light. Oh, that one's almost run out. That's great. Yeah. That one's dead. So, ow, honey. All right, this is a dark purple. Um, but if I'll just do it around the banana. So this is just having a little bit of color in the panel and then one color in the background. It's not gonna look too good because it's this one's running out. Um, it should make the banana stand out. Um, so other complementary colors are red and green, the opposites, and blue and orange. I don't know how well that's going to stand out because this is a really bad marker. It's almost dead. I'm struggling to get any color out of it. But um, yeah, that's a way to make things pop as well as using opposite colors um, in your backgrounds or just a solid color. Oh my goodness, sorry about the squeaking. All right. To really check this marker first. I'm gonna have to throw this one out as well. <laughs> yeah, it needs to die. That one didn't work too well because of that. I'm gonna throw that one out. I'm gonna throw that one out. Um, so this one that's walking, you don't want to do dark colors. It's good to have lighter colors. Um, so like that orange, because it's the wall that he's walking next to, might be good in this panel. Um, if I can find that orange again, where did it go? It was right here. That's it. I think that's it. I hope that's it. Um, okay. So again, for this one, I'm not going to do any other color except the background color. I think I think Bella, we're just listening to you color in. Hang on, I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> All right. The only person you should be listening to color again is me. <laughs> All right. So there's just a single color in that background. My lid. There we go. Um, so I need to go back to my yellow again for this banana. Color that in. So again, here I could I could do another purple if I really wanted to, but um, it might be a bit too much. Like you don't always have to use complementary colors. That's just a way to help things sort of stand out. Okay. And yes, I'm being very very messy. So. Um, just while we're all busy, this is our very last um, drawing class for this term. Um, we don't have any classes, holiday classes planned, as far as I know. I'm not doing any holiday classes. Um, so I hope you guys will come back for next um, term. We can do some more comics or we can do something else. Um, if you've got any ideas of something you'd like to do, please send a, um, an email into Brilliant Kids and um, 
requests on things you'd like to do with me or some or the other teachers if you work with the other teachers as well and um do we have to pay to do the classes next term i believe so like you do this term unless you got a a grant or something um yeah, if there's something you want to do in particular, let me know. I did some POSCA classes um, last school holidays, but if there's enough interest, we might we could do some of that um, in our weekly classes. Um, there's there's lots of things we can do. Just just you know, just ask, and we can create classes if there's enough people interested. Um, or if there's certain things you want to focus on in my classes with drawing, uh, whether it's anatomy or animals or things like that, then yeah, also just ask and I will make sure that we cover it. Um, yeah, try and get some drawing done. Not, it doesn't have to be every day, but every other day, maybe try and draw something. It doesn't have to be huge. It could just be a little 10 minute thing. When you're in the back seat of the car or something going somewhere, just do a little sketch, a little doodle. And um, yeah, just practice, get your practice in. Sorry, I'm in trouble. I'm looking at the screen. You got a question? <laughs> I was busy coloring. Uh, I just wanted to show you, um, I finished coloring the page. Okay, yeah. Let's have a look. Where did you go? I've lost you now. Oh, hang on. You're covered by the chat. That's why I can't see you. Let me see. Okay. Oh, there we go. Nice. There's some nice colors in there too. Yeah, that looks good. Um, in the in the very first panel, is that just hatching or is that meant to be rain or something like that? Well, is it just hatching? And that is it the sky? Oh, this is just another panel on the top. No, in the in the next panel, sorry. The top uh, panel, but not the curved one, not the green one, the, the rectangular shaped panel above. Uh, the second panel on the page. No, up, 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 <laughs> up on your page. That one. That one there. Is that the sky that's white? No, what is it? Because I can't see this far away. It's in school. Oh, so it's like, is it a wall? The wall of the school. Okay, yes. I would I would paint that like um, a really um, a light color. Like, see in the next panel down is that where it's is that a blue door and a pink wall? Yeah. Yeah, maybe put make that top panel pink so it's the wall of the school. Because um, that's what I was going to say. Like in this one and this one, I've done all the buildings the same color in there, just so we know we're in the same place. It's the same color that's up there as well. So just say this was the pink color. Um, if you did pink down here, then we know that the person's walking past the pink wall, which there's pink walls up here. So just sort of, it's called continu uh, continuity. So it um, helps people realize that we're in the same um, location, we haven't changed. But sometimes you know, that happens with reading a story. Um, okay, so for this banana one, I'm just going to do a blue background in the back of that. I thought you were holding that up, Bella. I was trying to have a look. <laughs> Check out the comment. Also, guys, if you're doing um, if you're doing any kind of artwork that you want some feedback on um, over the holidays, feel free to send me an email or a message on um, Instagram. If you don't have my Instagram, it's Art Noobs. That's A R T N E W B S. So you can find me on Instagram if you have Instagram and message me on that. Um, or you could email me at evan.artnoobs at 
uh, gmail. Um, so evan.artnibs at gmail.com. Um, and you can send me pictures and stuff like that, something you're working on. Um, and, um, or if you've got Instagram, you can post something on Instagram and then ask me to go have a look at it or tag me on it and I'll check it out and I'll give you feedback. Because you don't have to just rely on these classes um, to get feedback and help with your drawings. I'm available. As long as I'm available, I will um, help you out whenever I can. I'll try and, try and leave that on there so you can write it down if you want. Because I will be posting things. I've got a few different projects going on. Okay, how are we going for time? Oh, we've got about 15 minutes left. So there's there's no um, there's no real pressure to get these comics done. This is just something fun to do. Um, it's totally up to you if you continue doing it. It'd be great if you did, and then like working on it over the next you know, weeks, months, years kind of thing. Um, but if you don't work on it again, that's fine. It's no, I'm not going to quiz you on it. It's just a way to get you guys to do some art and try some new things. And um, you might find out that you really like making comics and then you might want to do more of it. I've got friends who um, make lots of comics and have Kickstarters where they sell their comics and they get funding and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've self-published comics before. Um, it is fun. It's a lot of work, but it is fun to do. So there's my banana splat. I might just color these bits a little more. sort of that's three sort of ways you can color one that's just grayscale with hatching flat color or you can add shading to it and this is just like simple colors flat colors but with different colored backgrounds this one doesn't look too great because it's a bad marker um so i've only got one more panel on that page um that's his foot stepping onto the banana <clears throat> Sorry, Kai, I just saw your message whenever you draw a car. I'll draw in the car. Please say whenever you draw a car. Aliens origin story. Okay, one or two. Whenever you draw in the car, it looks like a ridiculous. But yeah, fair enough. But that happens. What Jensen, what are you drawing? <laughs> or do you done inking all your pages? That's cool. Do you want to show? Yeah, do you, want to, do you want to talk us through it as well? You can unmute. Um, I only started inking, I finished inking the first two pages of my comic. Okay. the first page. Well, that's cool. I like how you've sort of used limited colors, which is really a really good thing to do, which I haven't even mentioned, um, using a limited palette. So just say, you know, I know I've got two characters. Those characters are gonna be red and, and green, for example. But, you know, if you try and limit yourself to four colors, you go, okay, well, it's gonna go well with those colors. Maybe red, I could move into purple. And the green, I could move into either a darker green or you know, a bluey green kind of thing. Um, and then just try and limit yourself to only using those colors or, or shades of, so you can have darker, a darker and light version of that, darker and light version, darker and light. So you've got uh, three, six, nine, 12 shades 
but out of four colors. Um, so just hold that one up again, um, Audrey. So yeah, you've got like the blue, the pink, and it looks there's sort of like a bit of a purple in there as well, or is it a bluey, a bluey gray shadow? Yeah, that's really nice. And that works well with the black and the white as well. It looks really pretty. <laughs> nice nose, Kai. That's all we saw was your nose when you leaned in. <laughs> um, oh, they look really cool too. There's a bit of yellow in that. I like that. Yeah, that's really cool. So again, a very limited um, palette. Same as this where this has only got one color. Um, but Audrey's used it in like the background and just to, the characters are always, looks like the characters are always white with a bit of shading on them, but then there's color in just the background. So that's another way you could color them. That looks really good. Well done, Audrey. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna finish up this last color. Oh, I'm gonna try and look at, I'm gonna go back to my sketches to see what it looks like. So it's a foot stepping on a banana peel. That's all it is. So it's basically these two shots. So we're gonna have a big foot coming down. And banana peel. Make the banana look a bit sort of like a, a tentacle or monster or something. Have the foot sort of zooming down. Something like that. So Jensen, what are you up to now? What are you doing? Let me let me ask you. Let me... Oh, nice. Yeah, hey, you've done the background colors. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, I've colored it all in red. And so are the those panels at the bottom, they're only partially red? Are they going to say partially red? Oh, because it's oh, yeah. turned around? Yeah, I get because it's the basketball one. I forgot which one it was. Yeah, that's cool. Because it all looks like it's all in the one place now. It all sort of works together. Yeah. Good job. Um, I need to do a order on this one. So has anyone got any plans for the holidays? It's only a short holiday, it's two weeks, I think. Is anyone going going away? Doing anything special? I'm not. <laughs> nope. Um, yeah, I'm just working. Well, looking for work and doing some little jobs. Looking for more work, actually. Sometimes it's very hard to draw a straight line without a ruler. Very, very slow. Have you heard of a thing called finger gauging? Go to China tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, finger gauging. It's where you hold pen but you put your finger like my pinky on the edge of the paper so when you're drawing you can't really see hang on. when you're drawing you use that as your guide so this pinky is running down the side of the paper and it's guiding my hand apparently um carpenters and people like that do it a lot oh the olden days they used to do it a lot um yeah, it's not something i do often I have done it. I'm not very good at it. I prefer to use a ruler. So Riley, where are you going? Because you said you're going, you're doing something. But then you, you laughed at Leo. I did go to Jamboree on the weekend. Jamboree Recreation Park, if anyone's ever heard of that. That was fun, because it was sunny. Jensen. Amisha, you're going 
Jim um, I remember, uh, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it was on New Year's Eve going into this year. Uh, I went to Jamboree as well. Yeah, did you like it? Uh, yeah, it was so fun. Um, I went on the, um, uh, um, the big ride called the Funnel Web. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. I went on that. And um, the other one next to it called the Perfect Storm. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try that out next time. I didn't have a chance to go there. That was scary because you end up in, I'll just draw a little thing, you're going through the tubes, right? Like this is the tube. You end up in like a big room with a tube as well. And so you come down the tube and then you like slosh up here and here and, you're doing, and it's dark, you can't see anything and then you go down the tube. Yeah. It's like you're in a, a plug hole kind of thing in the bathtub it was scary because it was so dark in there um also the taipan is dark in that one too oh yeah i went on that yeah it was fun but um haven't got any other plans of doing anything <clears throat> oh i've got a black here. very dark so, so you guys are from Sydney, though, aren't you? Did you come all the way down from Sydney? Or are you in Wollongong? Well, no, I'm from Sydney. Okay. Amisha's from Jensen, are you from Sydney? Yeah. Okay. Riley's in Sydney? Yeah, everyone's in Sydney. I'm not. I'm south. I'm in the mountains. I used to live in Wollongong. But I moved up the mountains. Sydney? Oh, I'm, I'm in Sydney a lot, actually. I just got a job up there. I'm starting next term, doing some drawing classes. But I'll still be doing these ones, so don't worry. You're not going to miss me. You're not going to lose me. Okay, there's my big foot. I'll just try this one. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, we've only got five minutes. Has anyone got any last questions they want to ask me before we don't see each other for a couple of weeks? Anything art-based? It doesn't even have to be art-based. Um, or has anyone got a web page? or uh, Instagram you want me to check out with all your art stuff on it. Um, I will be happy to do that. Riley, you got a question there? How much do you like Lego? How much do I like Lego? Oh my goodness. Well, let me tell you, when I moved into my new house, I went out to Big W and I bought myself, oh, hang on, my camera's dying, my phone's about to die. Um, I bought myself the Bowser airship Lego. Oh, you know, the... <laughs> I got the, some giant minion set. Oh, cool. Really... I, I like um, the superhero stuff, um, like all the Marvel stuff. I got Spider-Man. Yeah, I've got a few Spider-Man things, but I don't have room for them, so they're all in my garage at the moment. I can pencil myself. Got to finish this comic, otherwise it's never going to get finished. Mm -hmm. How's yours going, Kai? What did you end up doing instead? Oh, that's right, that one. You did check that one. Oh, that looks cool. See how it's a bit blotchy? I think it looks like a nice texture, though. Um, at least it doesn't look as blotchy as this one. This one's pretty awful. But that happens when you're using markers. But I think it works well on the wall. Because it looks... Hang on, I'll, I'll unmute you so you can talk. Um, or ask you to unmute. I think, I think it works well there, so it's still... 
Because you see walls that do have that kind of patchiness on them. I did that on purpose so it would look like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there you go. I picked up on it very well. Very good job. <laughs> but also the stippling didn't go with the ink I used, so that's pretty depressing. Oh, it smudged a bit. A it little bled. bit. Yeah. That's right. That Especially happened. After I left it to dry for a day so that wouldn't happen, but looks like it uh, doesn't work. It would be the alcohol in the markers is just um, rehydrating it. Mm. Or it could just be cleaning it off like alcohol does. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Um, I have the same issue sometimes when using um, different paints when I'm painting miniatures that uh, like a special effects paint might actually take the paint off I've already done. Oh, yeah. It's not fun when that happens. And this one's running out too. Oh, looks like I'm going to the graveyard. What was that? I had it to the graveyard. Yeah, like the other one, your purple marker, now it's yellow. Yeah, it's going to have to be this one. And it's made it look all blotchy. At least it looks like an old banana. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's starting to go brown and gross. <laughs> all right, guys, yeah. it looks like we are out of time oh we're out of time already jesus it's it's 7 14 so this is going to be it so i hope you've enjoyed this different term of doing comics no, um, sure and working on your own stuff because that's more important i don't want you to just copy what i'm doing and do what i'm doing i want you to come up with your own ideas and your own characters and do your own thing and, and do stuff like Rowley did <laughs> and draw Pokemon. Um, what would be good, Riley, is if you learn how to draw from doing uh, copying pictures, but then draw your own Bulbasaurs in your own poses without copy. The copying is a good way to learn, but then you need to be able to draw your own without copy. Okay. That's the goal. I also drew a Squirtle. Yeah, cool. Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. Um, all right. I think, uh, Peter, are you there? Uh, yes. Um, yeah. Thank you so much um, for, the, um, for the term, and I hope you enjoy it. And join us next time with Mr. Evan. Yeah, Thank I'll you. be back. Yeah, I will. Thank I'll you. try. Thank you. <laughs> I'll bye try. Bye. <laughs> Don't try. Do it. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.